Maurice Claret out of Harding High in Warren, Ohio. Everybody's Mr. Football in this state, Parade All-American. He came to school here early, started in winter quarter so he could take part in spring practice. And as he said, he starts his first game. It's never happened in Ohio State history before. And they're going to let him have it on the first carry. Claret cuts outside, puts his head down on his shoulder and rumbles down back to the original line of scrimmage. Krenzel's going to give it off to Claret, and he's got not only a first down, he might have it all. Maurice Claret, first big play of his Buckeye career is a touchdown. Is going to run through the hole. Stafford, number 50, comes over, picks up the last blocker, got a good block from Schnitzker, and the three offensive linemen blocking down, and Claret knows what to do with it. Frenzel, draw play. Claret broke one tackle. Here he goes again. Until he actually puts on the uniform exactly. and does stuff like this. Exactly. And you know, you, you, we've seen a lot of freshmen have big high school numbers, and we never usually show high school numbers because you never know what the. And down and nine. Frenzel, off play action. A lot of time. Found a man. Who else? Two feet. Claret gets a handoff, cuts outside. And he got the first. He almost got the touchdown. He is strong from the from the waist down. Bob, yes. it looks like he's going to be dead in his tracks at about the six right here. Yeah, right there. And he runs through two guys. Again, the tight end on the move. And the handoff. Loran, and he's in the open field. Goodbye, Maurice. Touchdown, Buckeyes. Stafford, number 50, gets through the hole. Claret follows him. Says, I'm staying with my man. And he just outruns the safety. A huge day. 45-yard touchdown in his 28-7 Buckeye. This could still have two a days. And he said, theoretically, <laughs> here's Claret. And he's going to have it. It's, it's, gonna, it's great for the offensive line. Third and goal. Touchdown. He's in. That's number three. Nine-yard run. Coming right back, the great ones like to have it in their hands, and there's the first down. Folks, that's a freshman. The tailback, he gets the first call. Slants, first down, breaks free. He's got great speed. They got an angle on him, though. Running play goes the other way, a perfect call right here. Virgil Williams comes from one side, and Eric Coleman, number 27, who playing safety, but he was a corner last year, so he had corner speed, or perhaps... There's Claret, right side, he's got the angle. Breaks a tackle. Claret out of bounds and be able to run the ball. I think Claret said to the guys, give me the ball. I'll show you I can run the ball against these DBs. We know you can cover. Can you tackle it? First and goal inside the five, and here it comes. End zone, touchdown. Now I can say it. The third baseman. <laughs> no. Here comes Claret off the tackle. And seven, and we get confirmation it was cramps. Claret back on the field. Here he comes again. Maurice Claret was able to come back so quick off that cramp. Yeah, Gary and Jack were trying those popsicles, and here comes uh, Claret. And here comes Claret again. The Buckeyes doing a good job of also working yeah, on nice. the clock. A very smart young man, pre-med student we showed you. Now the uh, handoff, and Claret breaks a tackle. Drives inside the goal. Guess who's back? Touchdown, Maurice Claret. That's with it. Jason Gesser, huh? Holiday's doing pretty good. Here comes Claret. Oh, man. Breaking free. Sale after Robert Smith's freshman rushing record. And here he comes again. On a great cutback to daylight. He's gone. Maurice Claret. The DB has got the angle. And a possible first-round draft choice. Marcus Trufant is the player who stopped him. 44 more yards, and he's got his 200, ladies and gentlemen. And if he didn't have come out plans. now to a huge ovation. You know, we were trying to ask the coaches yesterday, who does he remind you of? And nobody came up with a name, but I'm going to throw one out there. How about Herschel Walker? And again, good blocking off the left.
outside. Claret. Randy, in watching him, he gets the first down. Prinzel. Outlets to Claret to make a play. Red backs are used to running with the ball, so when they catch it, they don't think their job's done. They lower their shoulder, they deliver the blow. Sometimes wide in the eye formation. The give, Claret. And he gets the first down on his own and a whole lot more. Move his legs and push the pile. Not a bad job by the Indiana defensive front. Not a big hole, but when Hernandez Jones came up there, hit Claret one-on-one, -on -one, Claret just keeps driving, and he's so strong, lowers his shoulder, and just keeps those legs moving. And Here's Claret. Only has a couple of yards to go. He's just so strong. Nice job of sealing. No early penetration. And Claret just lowers those. Ohio State at the two on first down. Claret, touchdown. Virtually untouched. Goal, fifth play of the drive. The give to Claret. To the outside. Can he get the corner? Touchdown. Take a look at it again, Randy. Well, you can see Carter come up. He gets a good hold of him, pulls him down. There's the ball that gets reached out. Uh, boy, looks like it's right on the line. If that, it was close. Just needs to be on the line. And you see Claret, nothing in the middle. Immediately breaks to the outside and shows a good burst of acceleration. Pretty good open field tackle, though, by A.C. Carter. Just couldn't quite get there quickly enough to keep him out. And just an outstanding effort by Claret that time to reach that ball out. Hit. Maurice Claret. Look out. First and goal. Claret looking for the end zone. It's an Ohio State touchdown. So we got the check and we cashed it after winning the game. Big hole for the Buckeyes. And another first down. They move the ball. Looking for the end zone. Claret, no problems there. Touchdown, Ohio State. Put him in there. Sure. That's a look to the end zone. A little drop off to Claret. Oh, leap to the end zone. Touchdown. Big plays downfield. That's the thing they missed last week. And here's Claret. Look out. Look out. He's got space. And cuts back and all the way. Claret gets the game's first carry. Huge hole on the left side. Cuts to the 40. 45 to midfield. Loads it, and when they pull around, they actually effectively have four offensive linemen to the strong side, and they overpowered that Wisconsin. And 10. Claret cuts back in the hole. Well, Frank Prenzel, the handoff now to Claret. He battles his way. for the first down. Here's Colette. Run wide. He'll stay in bounds. And his second down and 10 for Krenzel. Here's Colette's first carry. He's within 15 yards. He's going to get it on his first carry. He's over 1,000 yards for the season. Joe, the fullback, is replaced. And they'll run Claret. He's got daylight. First and 10. Very well. He comes down. He reads it and it pops to the outside, and that's what you have to do if you're a good back. 11. Coming back with Claret. Stretching the defense, his best run. First down. And there's that draw play in Claret. Take power eye. They bring it. Slide it again. To the 30 yard line for the first down. Claret's in on it. Well, I'll tell you, Swiger could have made this play, but a nice play by Maurice Claret here to dodge this play, stick it up inside, and make the first down with skill. Prinzel will throw. Claret missed his block. It's off to Claret. They set the play beautifully. And he is watching right here, block the end man Stevens. Kind of wings on perfect play for the screen. Gets loose, but I watch a great player make another great player miss a tackle. That's what talent does. All of a sudden, those three yards. Be short. Correct to the middle. Slashes free. 30. The difference maker. 20. 15. There it is. Look at the crowd, ladies and gentlemen. They know what a difference number 13 brings to this attack. That's a 29-yard burst now for Maurice Correct. He's the wild card in this team. Spread him out. All of a sudden, that offensive line that couldn't open up anybody has a guy that picks the blocks. And oftentimes, it's the running back.
that gives that line the juice that you can run tight ends. Here comes Ohio State muscle. Correct for the touchdown. Can he get there? Yes. Jackson could not cut the freshman off. Now watch Claret. Four carries. 38 yards. One touchdown. For the Bucks to win, he has to stay on the field. Timeout. First down. Here comes the young man. Claret to daylight. Tato June can't bring him down. Stevens finally comes from behind. But it's out to the 31-yard line and the difference maker with a first down on another 15-yard run and Stevens jaw a little bit with the freshman. This is what Claret does that Ohio State's other backs don't do. They run the ball up the, up the middle, but he feels as it bounces outside and falls forward like a, a young T.J. Duckett from... Change the sequencing of plays as they start off with Claret who twists and then slips at the 26-yard line. So it'll be second down and about four coming up now for the Bucks. Ran right through Sorantos that time as Claret breaks the record, huh? Robert Smith. And here he comes. Bounces the play to the outside beautifully. To the 40. Down at the 40. Watched him this year. You know you pointed it out several times. Claret maintains his balance. The Bucks with a second down. And their freshman Claret breaks to daylight. Jackson wrestles it. Fakes the handoff. Crenzel's going to throw a first down. Got a man wide open. It's Claret. Out of bounds at the six-yard line. Maurice Claret, who is an outstanding pass receiver. That is for 25 yards during the spring. Jim Trussell told us that Michael Doss could not defend him coming out of the backfield. That's how good he is. Out and up. And watch Crenzel. He doesn't lead him. He's got his wide open, so he throws the ball right at him. And Claret turns around and catches it with two hands right there looking at the ball. Perfect by the quarterback. Great call by Jim Tressel on first down. He's got it. He's got a touchdown. Good double team there. He sees the linebacker. He seals him to the inside. That's all Maurice Claret needed. Two yard line. Got it again. Going to the outside. Broke the tackle. Gets the first down. The formation. Here is Sykes right here. Watch the power with that straight arm. Just pushes Sykes to the ground. Best run of the night for Maurice Claret right there. Brings it. Keeps it. Throws it to the end zone. And it is picked off. Picked off by Sean Taylor. He threw it right to him. He had double coverage on his intended receiver and no chance to get it there. And Claret. Claret is still the ball. Yes, he did, Keith. Maurice Claret with the play of the game, perhaps, as Sean Taylor going down the sidelines, reminiscent of George Teague of Alabama stealing the ball from Miami a few years back. Ball's Watch in the Claret wrong hand. Rip. It should have been on the other side, shouldn't it? That's a great point, Keith. But did he really pull it away? The officials say yes, he did. No. Close. Krenzel trying to force this one. Great read by Taylor as he comes back to take the ball away from Hartsock. And then with the ball in his right hand, exposes it to Maurice Claret right there. And in the judgment of the officials, when they hit the ground. Second down and five. Ball up. Claret gets loose again. For a 19-year-old true freshman playing high school ball at this time last year, Making guys miss, always going forward. And down from the five. Correct. Touchdown. Maurice Sykes. Fine job by Clark. There's the broken tackle. There's the touchdown for Ohio State. The down block is excellent by Ryan Hamby. And then Clarette staying low, keeping those legs driving, getting the six points.